Did you know that Burundi is one of the few countries in Africa where a traditional monarchy persisted into the late 20th century? Nestled in the heart of the African continent, Burundi is a small but captivating landlocked nation. This East African gem, roughly the size of Maryland, is home to over 11 million people who speak primarily Kirundi, French, and English. Burundi's geographical charm is undeniable, with its verdant landscapes, towering mountains, and serene lakes. The country's beating heart is Bujumbura, its vibrant capital, which sits on the shores of Lake Tanganyika, one of the deepest lakes in the world. But beneath its scenic beauty, Burundi holds an intricate tapestry of history, culture, and traditions. From the rhythmic beats of the royal drummers to the tantalizing flavors of its traditional cuisine, every aspect of Burundi tells a story of a people and their journey through time. Join us as we take a journey through time to explore the rich history and vibrant culture of this fascinating country. Long before the Europeans arrived, Burundi was a kingdom. Picture an era where the spirit of unity and identity thrived amongst the people, an era that gave birth to the Kingdom of Burundi. This kingdom, which emerged around the 17th century, was the heart and soul of the nation long before the concept of colonization touched its borders. At the center of this kingdom were the Bantu people, a community with a rich cultural heritage deeply rooted in unity and harmony. The Bantu were not just inhabitants, they were the lifeblood of the Kingdom of Burundi, their beliefs and customs shaping the kingdom's identity, their vibrant traditions, their music, their dance. It all added color to the tapestry of the kingdom, making it a lively and dynamic entity. The Kingdom of Burundi was not just a political and geographical entity, it was a cultural hub, a melting pot of traditions, beliefs and customs. It was a place where every individual, every family, every clan had a role to play, a contribution to make. The kingdom thrived on the spirit of community, the essence of togetherness. The rulers, known as the Mwami, were not just leaders. They were the custodians of the kingdom's cultural heritage. They were the ones who ensured that the kingdom's traditions were upheld, that the spirit of unity and harmony was maintained. They were the ones who led the kingdom with wisdom and foresight, steering it towards prosperity. And so, the kingdom of Burundi grew, its influence reaching far and wide. It became a beacon of cultural richness, a testament to the spirit of unity and harmony. It stood as a symbol of resilience and strength, its legacy echoing through the annals of history. But the kingdom of Burundi was more than just a kingdom. It was a testament to the spirit of its people, the Bantu. It was a testament to their resilience, their unity, their harmony. It was a testament to their ability to create a society that was rich in culture, vibrant in traditions, and strong in unity. The kingdom of Burundi was a significant entity, its influence reaching far and wide. The echoes of its past continue to resonate in the hearts of the Burundian people, reminding them of their roots, their identity, their heritage. The winds of change blew over Burundi in the late 19th century as the Europeans arrived. In 1890, the small East African nation fell under German colonial rule, an era marked by significant transformations. The Germans, eager to exploit the country's rich resources, introduced new agricultural techniques and crops. Coffee and cotton became the backbone of Burundi's economy, a legacy that endures to this day. Yet, the changes weren't just economic. The German administration also reshaped the political landscape, reinforcing the authority of the local kings, known as Mwamis, to maintain control. However, the winds of war soon swept over Europe, and in the aftermath of the First World War, Germany lost its colonies. Burundi, along with neighboring Rwanda, became a mandate territory under Belgium. The Belgian rule, though similar to the German in many respects, was more direct and intrusive. The Belgians further entrenched the ethnic divisions between the Hutu and the Tutsi, setting the stage for future conflicts. Meanwhile, the seeds of nationalism were sprouting. Inspired by the wave of decolonization sweeping across Africa in the mid-20th century, the Burundian people began to clamor for independence. A series of protests and uprisings in the late 50s and early 60s 
led to a referendum in 1961. The result was clear. The people of Burundi wanted to break free from the shackles of colonial rule. On July 1, 1962, Burundi finally won its independence, stepping into a new era as a sovereign nation. The Mwami Mwambutsa IV, who had been a figurehead under the Belgian rule, became the country's first ruler. The joy of independence, however, was tempered by the challenges that lay ahead. Ethnic tensions, political instability and economic difficulties cast a long shadow over the newborn nation. Independence, however, was just the beginning of a new chapter in Burundi's history. Post-independence Burundi found itself in a whirlwind of power struggles and ethnic conflicts. No sooner had the joyous celebrations of independence subsided than the nation was plunged into a tumultuous era marked by strife and turmoil. The struggle for power was largely between the two main ethnic groups, the Hutus and Tutsis. Despite being the majority, the Hutus found themselves marginalized, while the Tutsi minority held the reins of power. This imbalance sparked a series of violent uprisings and brutal reprisals, setting the stage for a dark chapter in the nation's history. In the mid-60s, a failed Hutu-led coup served as the catalyst for the first wave of ethnic violence. The aftermath was devastating, with thousands of Hutus losing their lives. This tragic event was a grim harbinger of the bloodshed that was yet to come. The 70s and 80s were characterized by a series of military coups, further destabilizing the nation. Power changed hands several times, but each new regime seemed to only deepen the divisions within the society. The specter of ethnic violence continued to loom over the nation, as neither the Hutus nor the Tutsis were willing to relinquish their quest for dominance. The 90s ushered in the darkest period in Burundi's history, a brutal civil war that lasted more than a decade. The conflict was a horrifying escalation of the ethnic tensions that had been simmering for years. The atrocities committed during this time shook the nation to its core and left deep scars that are still healing today. Despite the seemingly endless cycle of violence, there were glimmers of hope. Efforts to broker peace were initiated with varying levels of success. The Arusha Accords of 1998 marked a significant step towards ending the conflict, though it took several more years to fully implement the agreement. The dawn of the 21st century brought hope for peace and stability. The civil war officially ended in 2005, paving the way for a period of relative calm. While the journey towards reconciliation is still ongoing, Burundi has made significant strides in overcoming its turbulent past. One can only hope that this resilient nation continues to move forward, ever closer to a future of lasting peace. Today, Burundi is on a journey of recovery and reconciliation. Emerging from a history marked by conflict, this vibrant East African nation is steadily charting a path towards peace and progress. Despite the challenges that lie ahead, the spirit of resilience is ever-present, embodied in the strength and tenacity of its people. The path to peace-building in Burundi is marked by various initiatives aimed at fostering social cohesion and inter-ethnic dialogue. Traditional conflict resolution mechanisms have been revived and adapted, playing a crucial role in mending the fabric of society torn apart by years of strife. They stand as testament to the power of community and the enduring wisdom of ancestral traditions. Yet the journey is far from easy. Burundi grapples with economic hurdles, environmental concerns, and the need for social reform. Poverty remains a pressing issue, with a significant portion of the population living below the poverty line. But even in the face of adversity, the people of Burundi remain resolute, fueled by a collective drive to build a brighter future for the next generation. At the heart of this narrative is the indomitable spirit of the Burundian people. Their resilience is palpable in their daily lives, from the bustling markets of Bujumbura to the tranquil shores of Lake Tanganyika, it's in their music, their dance, their storytelling, cultural traditions that have weathered the storm of history, yet continue to flourish today. The resilience of Burundi is also reflected in the country's natural beauty. Despite environmental challenges, its lush rainforests, picturesque lakes and diverse wildlife continue to thrive, 
offering a beacon of hope and a testament to the country's potential. Burundi today is a nation in transition, a country grappling with its past while striving to shape a future defined by peace, progress and prosperity. The road may be long and the journey fraught with challenges, but the spirit of the Burundian people remains unbroken. The story of Burundi is one of endurance, resilience and a rich cultural heritage that continues to thrive. It is a tale of a nation and its people, steadfast in their journey towards a future of peace and prosperity. And indeed, the story of Burundi continues to unfold, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people and the resilient beauty of this land. Our journey through Burundi's history has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. We've traveled from the intriguing pre-colonial era, where powerful kingdoms ruled, to the period of colonial rule which reshaped the nation's identity. Our exploration took us through the profound struggles that followed independence, a time marked by turbulence and resilience. In the face of challenges, Burundi has shown a remarkable spirit, preserving its vibrant cultural traditions and nurturing its natural beauty. From the rhythmic drumming and energetic indoor dance to the lush rainforests and picturesque lakes, the nation's soul is reflected in its people, its culture and its landscapes. Today, Burundi stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of its people, their efforts in peace building, reconciliation and community development. Through community-based tourism initiatives, traditional cuisines and visual storytelling, the country continues to weave its rich tapestry of culture and history. As we end our journey, we leave with a deeper understanding of Burundi, a land of enduring people and a rich tapestry of culture and history.